Hi all and welcome to Miss Robbie's Classroom. I'm your teacher, Miss Robbie, and today we will have another topic on the self-learning modules for Science 9. For this clip, you will need your Science 9 Module 3, your activity notebook, and a pen. Pay attention when you hear the bell sound. That means you may need to pause the video in order to do the task given. Then resume the video once you're done. And remember to practice honor and honesty when answering your modules. This module is divided into three lessons, namely Lesson 1, Incomplete Dominance, Lesson 2, Co-Dominance, Lesson 3, Multiple Alleles. So after going through this module, you're expected to explain the different patterns of non-Mendelian inheritance, solve genetic problems related to the different non-Mendelian patterns of inheritance, illustrate the phenotypes and genotypes of the different causes of traits. And so with that, let's talk about Module 3, Non-Mendelian Patterns of Inheritance. Before we go on, let's find out what you know about the topic. Go to page 6 of your modules. Choose the letter of the best answer. Write the chosen letter on your activity notebook. Like in number 1, what pattern of inheritance that explains the expression of pink color of a 4 o'clock flower? Is it A. Codominance? B. Incomplete dominance? C, multiple alleles, or D, sex-linked traits? The correct answer is letter B, incomplete dominance. Are you ready to answer the rest? Let's go! Were you able to answer all the items in what I know? Great! Let's see how you did. Go to page 21 to 25 of your modules. Pause this video while you check your work. Did you get a perfect score? Awesome! Almost perfect? That's alright. Let's do better next time. Let's have more activities that have something to do with our lesson today. Go to page 7 to 8 and what's in. Answer test 1 and 2 and write your answers in your activity notebook. In test 1, arrange first the jumbled letters in each box to form a word or a term. Then in test 2, use the words or terms in part 1 to answer the following questions. Find a term that bears the initial given. Are you ready to answer? Let's go! Were you able to answer all items in page 7? Awesome! Let's see how you did. Go to page 21 to 25 of your module. Pause this video while you check your work. So how did you do? You got perfect? That's awesome! Almost perfect? That's alright. Let's do better next time. Do you like a challenge? Go to page 8 and answer the word hunt. Search in the jar the word or phrase being described or defined by each sentence below. Are you ready to answer? Let's go! Were you able to answer all items in what's new? Great! Let's see how you did. Go to page 21 and 25 of your module. Pause this video while you check your work. Did you get a perfect score? Awesome! Almost perfect? That's alright. Let's do better next time. So do you have an idea what we're going to be talking about today? That's right. We'll be talking about the non-Mendelian pattern of inheritance. Lesson 3.1 Incomplete Dominance Incomplete dominance or intermediate dominance is a pattern of inheritance in which neither gene is totally dominant over the other. This results to an intermediate form of other two phenotypes. 
Take a look at figure 1. When we cross a red flower, symbolized by RR, and a white flower, symbolized by WW, we got two gametes, R and W. Cross them together, and it blends to become a pink flower, symbolized by RW. Now, if a pink flower is crossed with another pink flower, they each will have two heterozygous gametes, R and W. Cross them both, and it will result to different offsprings with completely different phenotypes. You have one red flower, two pink ones, one white. Let's illustrate the same problem using the Punnett square. When we cross a red flower, and a white flower, and it blends, resulting into 100% pink flowers. Now, if a pink flower is crossed with another pink flower, it would result to different offsprings with completely different phenotypes. You would have 25% red flower, 50% pink ones, and 25% white ones. Now go to page 10 and try to solve this activity, determining phenotypes and genotypes in incomplete dominance. You will need a pen and your activity notebook. Solve the following problems below. Problem 1. Cross a white 4 o'clock flower with a pink 4 o'clock flower using a Punnett square. A. What is the phenotype of a heterozygous 4 o'clock flower? B. What are the possible offsprings in this cross? C. What are the possible genotypes of the offspring in this cross? D. How many phenotypes that will possibly come out? Now let's have a step-by-step -step on how to answer this activity. First, draw a Punnett square like this. Then label the phenotypes. White 4 o'clock flower is WW and pink 4 o'clock flower is RW. Cross the gametes. W plus R will become RW. Same with W and R, RW. Then you will have WW and WW. Then answer the questions. What is the phenotype of the heterozygous 4 o'clock flower? The answer is RW because WW is homozygous. B. What are the possible offspring in this cross? The answer would be pink or RW and white WW flowers. What are the possible genotypes of the offspring in this cross? The answer is RW and WW. How many phenotypes that would possibly come out? The correct answer is 2. Are you ready to answer the rest? Let's go! Were you able to answer all items in Activity 1? Great! Let's see how you did. Go to page 21 to 25 of your module. Pause this video while you check your work. Did you get a perfect score? Awesome! Almost perfect? That's alright. Let's do better next time. Lesson 3.2 Codominance Codominance occurs when one allele is not dominant over the other. Both traits of the parents are expressed in the offspring. This can be seen commonly in plants' leaves, petals, and animals' fur, hair, skin, or feather. Study the following examples of codominance below. Human MN blood group. There are several blood group systems discovered by experts. One of them is the MN blood group. This blood group in human beings exhibit codominance. MNN are antigens found on the surface of the human red blood cells. This group of antigens is controlled by a pair of codominant alleles, the LM and the LN. The pairing of these alleles will determine the blood type of an individual, and there are three. 
M, MN, and N. Analyze the following diagram. The father has the M blood type, while the mother has the N blood type. So the father will have the homozygous gametes, M, M, and the mother, N, N. Cross them all, and you will have 100% offsprings having the M, N blood type. Another example will be the rowan fur in cattle. Rowan is the mix of white and red color on the fur of the cow or bull. So similarly, you have a red bull and a pure white cow. Cross them, you would get 100% rowan for offspring, meaning all offsprings will have red and white color on their fur. This is an example of code. Go to page 12 and 13. Solve the different problems dealing with co-dominance. Construct a Punnett square to support your answer to the guide questions of every problem. Are you ready to answer? Let's go! Were you able to answer all items in page 12 and 13? Great! Let's see how you did. Go to page 21 to 25 of your module. Pause this video while you check your work. Did you get a perfect score? Awesome! Almost perfect? That's alright. Let's do better next time. Lesson 3.3 .3, Multiple Alleles A gene that exists in three or more allelic forms are called multiple alleles. The ABO blood group in humans is the best example of this pattern of inheritance. There are three alleles responsible for this blood system, A, B, and I. The absence and presence of antigens in the blood determines the person's blood type. There are only two antigens, the A and B. Individuals with blood type O do not have antigens in their blood because allele I does not code for an antigen. Go to page 14 to 15 and do activity 3. Write your answers in your activity notebook. Are you ready to answer? Let's go! Were you able to answer all items in page 14 and 15? Great! Let's see how you did. Go to page 21 to 25 of your module. Pause this video while you check your work. How did you do? You got perfect? That's awesome! Almost perfect? That's alright. Let's do better next time. So let's apply what you just learned. Go to page 15 to 17 and answer activity 4. Illustrate by means of the Punnett square the following causes involving non Mendelian patterns of inheritance. Identify the phenotypes and the genotypes with their percentage of the offspring. Write your answers in your activity notebook. Are you ready? Let's go! Were you able to answer all items in what's more? Great! Let's see how you did. Go to page 21 to 25 of your module. Pause this video while you check your work. Did you get a perfect score? Awesome! Almost perfect? That's alright. Let's do better next time. It's assessment time. Go to page 19 to 20. Answer the assessment and write your answers in your activity notebook. Good luck! Congratulations! Now you know about the non-Mendelian pattern of inheritance. To make sure that you apply the lesson you just learned, I want you to do the remaining activities on this module. Go to page 17 to 18 and answer what I can do. Follow the instructions carefully. Solve the following genetic related problems below, applying the non-Mendelian principles of heredity. Are you ready to answer? Let's go! Now you're all set for module 4. Until next time, this is your teacher, Ms. Robbie from Ms. Robbie's Classroom. Happy studying, guys!